Hello everyone, my name is Sotar TV and I have a gambling addiction. I'm just joking but um, but not really. As you'll see in this video, I found a way to blow off 1.5 billion credits, which is basically what this video is all about. As you can see in the footage, I am buying oppressor hypercrates from the GTN for an average of 22 million credits each. Uh, this is the aftermath of the Oppressor Hypercrate blowout sale which was just on the cartel market, meaning you could pick up a Hypercrate for 3500 cartel coins. It's a pretty cheap price and there were um, some sellers who were buying up a ton and putting them up on the GTN. Now I am spending an inconceivable amount of credits on these cartel packs but there is a reason behind all the madness. Uh, the reason I'm buying the Oppressor Crate specifically is because they are a highly profitable pack to open. Uh, it has the best platinum items in the game, especially when it comes to the value of those items on the GTN. Uh, the lightsaber pack for example will sell for what upwards of 80 to 90 million credits, uh, the lightsaber will sell for around 50 million. Uh, you can compare these to the current platinum items like the unstable peacemaker saber which are in the cartel packs right now. Uh, for those ones the saber will sell for like 50 million and the double bladed saber will only sell for 20 million. So evidently the platinum items from the oppressor packs are far better when it comes to getting some value out of them on the GTN. Also, the Oppressor packs do drop some amazing gold armor sets. Uh, the Frenzied Warrior armor set just looks absolutely amazing and it will sell at the decent price of around 2-3 to three million credits. Um, and then this, the Unrelenting Terror armor set is probably the next Sith Recluse armor set. Uh, the design of the armor set is inspired by Darth Vader himself and undoubtedly it will be a very very popular armor set in the future. Uh, on top of all of that, the tuning and the creature companion are decent gold items and the decorations from these packs are absolutely stunning which is indeed reflected in the prices that those decorations are auctioned for on the GTN. So all these factors combined had me convinced that these crates are definitely worth buying at this price. And as you will see later in this video, I even transferred my character over to the Red Eclipse in order to pick up some sweet deals that were on the GTN there. However, the ultimate value of the Oppressor pack itself only matters if I actually decide to open it. Uh, one of the primary motivations for spending these many credits on just Hyper Crates was because at 22 million credits a crate, I do actually guarantee myself a profit. And this is something you can take away from this video as well. I have sold hundreds of cartel packs on the GTN during my time of playing Sotar. And as a general rule, cartel packs nowadays will sell for a minimum of 1 million credits per uh, pack. Now this is an absolute minimum. If you waited until the cartel pack was embargoed and relatively rare, uh, you could probably sell your packs closer to a price range of 1.5 to 2 million credits per pack, especially if the pack is as valuable and desirable as the oppressor pack. Uh, so let's say that I can sell each oppressor pack for an average of around 1.5 million credits each, which I think is a reasonable price. Um, then that means I could be making a profit of 16.5 million credits every time I actually buy one of these crates. So in total, by the end of this spending spree, I have the potential of making 1,110,000,000 credits in profit. So this was the reasoning behind why I decided to make such an extravagant purchase and not everyone has 1.5 billion credits to spend but still for those players who are relatively wealthy it might be something you want to look into doing because blowout sales happen all the time with every single cartel pack before it goes away. If you wanted to make some quick credits you can also use this method. Uh, you could just buy a hyper crate for 22 million, uh, open it, let the buying timers run out and then just sell them right away for 1 million. You could be easily making 4 million credits in profit every time because these packs will sell for 1 million credits each. Because uh, not everyone has 22 million sitting in their inventory to buy the hyper crate but they still might want to gamble with a few packs so they're willing to pay a little bit extra just so that they have only a few packs to open. But aside from making a profit, there is, there is also another rather beneficial reason for doing something like this, and that is preventing your wealth from diminishing due to inflation. So this is for everyone, um, despite what credit range you're in, whether you have billions or millions, uh, probably if you're a hundred of thousands, it won't matter so much, but if you're in the millions, definitely this is something you want to look into, and that is pr uh, protecting yourself against inflation. So just like in the real world, uh, the value of credits fluctuate within the game. So as credits become more easily obtainable due to exploits, glitches, or just Bioware uh, deciding to give more credits as mission rewards like they did with the Heroics in 4.0, uh, the value of credits do go down. Uh, you can see the effects of inflation when you examine how the prices of hypercrates have fluctuated over the years. Two to three years ago, hypercrates would cost you around uh, four to five million credits per, for just one crate, which was an absolutely amazing price. Um, then one and a half to two years ago, the price for a hypercrate jumped up to around 10 million. Closer to a year ago, hypercrates would set you back around 12 to 15 million, and now hypercrates cost 21 to 25 million. I'm pretty curious to see, you know, in the future 
if SOTEC goes on for another year or two, how much hyper crates would cost. Inflation will probably be crazy. But what this means is that the player base is getting richer. So having 15 million credits a year ago might have been a lot, but nowadays it won't get you nearly as much. So the way to protect yourself against this is to do what I'm doing in this video. Invest in items that you know 100% will go up in value. Uh, that way the credits that I invest into these hyper crates will be safe from the effects of inflation in the future. So if you have credits you are sitting on, meaning you don't really have the intention of spending them, it is very dangerous to just let them sit there. Even if you have only 3 to 5 million credits, they will go down in value as time goes on, so maybe find some cheaper items on the GTN to invest them in. But hyper crates at 22 million credits apiece, as I mentioned earlier, guarantees you a profit. But in any case, you guys know me and I'm not the type to play it safe, so I am most definitely going to open all of these packs which means expect one of the largest pack opening videos ever and I'll be trying to work on that and get it out in the upcoming week. I will open over 65 hyper crates. Now, I'm not going to bore you to death with the actual footage of me opening them, rather I will be doing an extensive analysis of kind of like drop rates. Also we will see whether I made more credits opening the packs than I could have just selling those packs on the GTN for 1.5 million credits each. Uh, there is a way to actually open the packs very quickly. I can open a hypercrate in under 30 seconds. I might even make just a short video showing you guys how to do that. And I will be using that method during these openings, which means I will also upload a video with just the raw footage as kind of proof that the numbers I'm drawing from are actually accurate. I didn't just make them up. I don't think that those many packs have ever been opened in one sitting, so it will be a lot of fun. And I think very interesting to once and for all establish what the drop rates are like in cartel packs. Uh, to put this in perspective, that is 65 hyper crates, which is 1,690 individual cartel packs. Uh, that would cost approximately 350,000 cartel coins, which is over 3,100 US dollars. So I hope you guys are definitely excited for that video. I am really excited to see what comes out of these many cartel packs, and hopefully, hopefully, the sample size is large enough to provide some relatively accurate data regarding drop rates. I will of course also provide the raw data of what I got so any mathematicians in the audience can maybe do their own statistical analysis and I'll be really interested to see what you guys come up with. As always with such a mass pack opening, the wealth must be shared. I do want to make a note that a lot of the items that I get in the pack opening will go towards prizes and giveaways that will be coming very soon in the summer. So do expect some Senia lightsaber pie giveaways uh, this summer with the guild. But I am also planning a live stream pretty soon where I will hit it off with some giveaways on the Harbinger server. So stay tuned for that. In any case, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are excited for what's to come and I will see you guys in the next one.